Hey, Trey. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Good. Hey, on your your, your floater that you've developed, uh, the thing looks like it's becoming a pretty effective weapon. I'm kind of curious. Just tell me about how you decided to add that to your game and what's the process been and how confident are you, are you in it right now? Yeah, um, I think it's one thing that's been in my game um, for a while now. and I, I think I recently just wanted to get back to it because um, – like I said, it's, it's, been, it's been part of my game um, since high school. And I think just developing, it's, it's a really good thing to have right now, um, especially against good bigs and with the drop coverage and stuff. I think that's one thing I really just try to work on. And I, I worked on it a bunch when I hurt my wrist, um, just shooting in close range shots. And so I, I think that's one thing I really worked on um, and trying to develop that and get it back. And wh why do you think it's been so effective for you? And, and, um, and, or am I, am I right even saying that it's very effective? I, th I think you're right. Uh, I think it's one thing I just focused on because just getting into the paint, being able to get that shot, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's in between three and, and the layups. I think just getting there and being able to get to my spot and feel comfortable shooting it, I think it's been, it's been effective. I've been making it. So I'm going to keep, keep trying and keep doing it because um, it's working. So, Tom. Trey, you guys uh, have lost in your previous games you've, that you've lost. You've, you guys are 5-0 and in the games afterwards, uh, won by a combined 17 points. Haven't lost back-to-back -back games all year. Um, what sort of mentality comes into that for you guys and, and, and how much it matters to bounce back after a loss? Yeah, um, I mean, it means a lot to bounce back after a loss. And like you said, we haven't, we haven't lost two in a row all year. Um, that's, that's one of our main focuses after losing a game is just trying to see what what we did wrong um, and learn from it. Um, and next game, just come out and play with more energy than what we did when we lost. But I think, like I said, just sticking to our principles and sticking to the things we're good at um, and learning from our losses. I think that's one thing we've really focused on. <clears throat> Mike Schumann. Yeah, hey, Trey. In your development as a basketball player, who, who or what would you credit your aggressiveness to? Can you repeat that question? In your development as a young basketball player, who, who or what would you credit your, you know, your learned ability to be so aggressive as a player? Who would you credit that to? Um, I mean, I, I'd say just watching a bunch of film um, and taking from different guys. But I think just having the feel of the game from, from my dad, um, I think he really helped me um, with, with that aspect, um, just being aggressive and trusting my game and trusting my instincts. That's one thing I really tried to do um, in, in my game, especially in college, just trusting my instincts and trusting my ability to make plays um, in the paint um, and for others. So I think that's one thing I focused on. Dustin. Hey, Trey, obviously, uh, you know, since you've been back, you've, you've got a lot of big time assignments uh, more and more, you know, getting guys like like, like Ivy and uh, McGowan's and I and some of those guys. I mean, what's been what's the adjustment like, you know, guarding guys at that level? You obviously always took big assignments when you were a high school guy, but, but these guys are obviously a different level, you know, close to being pros. What's what's different? What requires more out of you? And how do you think you've gotten better between last year and this when you when you have one of those really, you know, tough, you know, top scorer assignments? Yeah, I think just. Um, focusing on what I got to do to be able to um, contain those guys and stop them. I mean, obviously they're all great players. There's a lot of great players in the Big Ten, um, but it's not just me. It's all it's all five of us on the court at the same time being able to stop their five, um, and it's us working together. I think, but it, like I said, it's not it's not one on one. It's 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 them helping me and me helping them. So I think, like I said, just me focusing on the task um, and being able to stop those guys and contain them is one thing I've really just focus on being able to watch film and take away things that I know they're good at. But like I said, it's not just me. It's, it's all five of us on the defensive end. Quick follow on that, I guess, along those lines. I mean, how just important is knowing you're going to get screened and blowing that up? I mean, that, that's one thing your team has taught a lot about is your ability to run through those. When it's a score like that, obviously, they want to set a lot of stuff for them to get them free. How important is it to just be aware and ready and, and know that that's coming and be able to blow that up? Yeah, I think it's really important. I, I think it's the, um, it's the preparation for that being able to see um, and know when the screens are coming um, and to get off those and not not die on them. So I think that's one thing I really focused on, just be able to um, know when screens are coming and obviously um, get the scout and re read what we gotta do.
to be able to get stops. Kevin. Yeah, uh, obviously it's the homecoming game for Miller Cop. I'm just curious of what he's been like as a teammate and how he's kind of uh, ingrained himself uh, with the team this off season. What what kind of uh, what kind of teammate is he? Um, he's a great teammate. Uh, I, I love playing with him. I love having him around. Um, he's a great locker room guy uh, on the court. He's always setting the right example. I think he's, he brings it every day in practice, which is great. Um, he doesn't take days off. I mean, he's always in the gym. He's always in here getting shots up. And it, it, it's great to see because I, I, it's nice to have teammates like that, that. When you see him in the gym, you want to get in the gym with him. Um, so like I said he's a great addition to our team. I, I, I've, always, I've loved having him with us and, um, he knows, I mean, it's a big game. Every, every, every game is a big game for us, but, um, I mean, obviously it's Northwestern's where we, we went before this, but, uh, where he's treating like any other game, he's, he's preparing the same way like he always has. So he's great. Alex. Hey, Trey, thanks for the time. Curious when you look at Northwestern on film, what stands out and are there one or two things in particular that you feel that you guys are going to have to do well as a team to win this game? Yeah. Um, I mean, they're a great offensive team. Um, they're tricky. They got a lot of a lot of good sets. Um, a lot of a lot of things that they do well on the offensive end. I think it's just our preparation um, and us being able to watch film and study what they do um, and, and their, their tendencies. And I think that's one thing we got to focus on and do a lot better is just being able to um, all lock in on the scout and and know the things that they do um, and prepare well for them. Jeff. Hey, Trey, one of the things that uh, Woodson mentioned the other day, um, and I think uh, Race even mentioned as well, is uh, you guys got to get to the point where you're better at playing both halves, not just playing one half well. You know, it happened the other day, Wisconsin, Syracuse, or other examples. But, <clears throat> is that just about mentality? Is it about energy level? Um, what, what is it that, that is the next step in, in that? Yeah, I, I think it's just, like you said, um, the mentality. Because, um, I mean, it's – it's 40 minutes and the, the two halves, it, it can change um, drastically. I mean, one half, you could be really well. The second half, you, like, you, like you said, change. But I think it's just having that mentality of playing both halves and not really playing the score um, and coming out competing for 40 minutes. It's hard to do, but you have to do it to win the Big Ten because every team um, is, is in the game usually competing. So I think um, being able to – put a full game together for 40 minutes is, is one thing you have to do in the big 10 to, to be able to win at a consistent basis. So I think um, just um, being ready and prepared for 40 minutes is, is the one thing you got to focus on. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Trey, just going back to the aggressiveness topic. Um, it, would you, is it fair to say that coach Woodson and his staff's defensive style is a, is a better fit for you in terms of your, your strengths on the defensive end? Um, I think, it, I think it's a good fit. Um, and coach Woodson's really preached on defense and that's his, that's his thing that we really focus on and take pride as on the team is being able to play defense and get stops. And I think that's our, our, our goal is to be able to stop teams. And that, that's what we want to do. Um, I think that, that it's, that's one thing I've wanted to do um, in my whole career is play defense and um, just being able to take things away from guys. I think that's that's one of the main things we have we focused on, and I think I, that's one thing I, I've I've benefited in being able to try to take things away from certain guys and different different players. Last question, Tom Brew. Trey, you've obviously getting a lot of minutes with the starters as well, and at the end of games, but a lot of times when when uh, Coach Woodson has you guys out there with the five bench guys. Um, there's been some moments where you guys have kind of stagnated a bit on offense. I mean, do you what what do you guys as a, as that second unit need to do uh, to to do more offensively? Do you need to play at a faster pace, try to get more transition, or what do you guys need to do to 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 be better offensively? Yeah, I think one thing we can do is play at a um, a better pace, but I think. Transit points are, are, are key for us being able to get out and run because we're fresh. And I think right when we get in there, we're, we're fresh bodies. So we got to get out and run. Um, I mean, I, it, it, offense will come. We're going we're gonna to keep um, keep practicing, getting better every day. Um, like I said, just being able to get out and run and create defense to offense is one thing. I think that second unit can um, come in and create um, for, um, for our offense. So.